Today we're going to be making a massive improvement to X-Plane and we're going to take your X-Plane looking from this to this or maybe even this. Now we're going to be adding the Nvidia game filters uh, into X-Plane which isn't normally possible since it is uh, not supported by Nvidia but uh, there is a workaround which I'm going to show you today and it's really 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 simple. Now before we get started, uh, you do require an NVIDIA graphics card for this to work and I recommend installing the latest NVIDIA app as well, link to that will be in the description. And very very quickly before we get started, uh, full credit for this method does go to Dink LSS Tile. Um, they made a brilliant forum post a couple of months ago uh, detailing how to do this and this is where the method's from. Uh, I'm simply just making a video on it. I did not find this method, but let's get into it. So very, very simple. All you want to do, head over to your x 12 directory uh, where your x 12 application is installed and simply make a copy. So control C and then control V. Now we have our copy here and you want to rename the uh, original here, the first one, and you want to rename that to Euro Trucks two no space or lowercase just like that euro trucks uh two and then you want to go to the one the copy we made and rename that back to just explain just like that so this essentially tricks and tricks nvidia to uh think we're playing a different game uh when we're not uh, it doesn't cause any other issues uh nothing no issues with active sky auto ortho map enhancement any of that good stuff i have tested it uh, no issues that's why we have to have this one still here so we have two executables um this one just allows uh, external softwares to pick up that yes this is indeed where x-plane is installed when in reality we're running this here so when you run x-plane you need to run this one uh, or you can still use the the shortcut they will be on your uh, desktop so as you can see here i have my x-plane uh, shortcut and I can still use that one that is the original one I had that's why we renamed the original one rather than renaming the copy and so we can use that we can open up x-plane and let's take a look alrighty here we are back in x-plane now all you're gonna want to do is hit alt f3 and it'll bring up this game filter uh, menu here on the left and you can select your preset you can see I've got preset one here as you can see uh, it's fairly subtle difference, but you can you know do whatever you want So we can go to preset 2 and like if we really want to just make it you know super Super dark or you know really you can do whatever you want. You can do absolutely uh, whatever you want so As you can see there's my preset now CUDA captains uh, and above will be able to download this preset from my discord now unfortunately the only downside to this is that your preset will get a uh, reset back to default every time you update your nvidia drivers um i don't know why nvidia have done it like this but they have so you can just you know just take screenshots of these values here um you know whatever you decide to change and add and then just re-edit back doesn't take too long but yeah it's a bit of a pain so as i said you can do whatever you want with these uh shaders um you can really tune and explain to exactly how you want with absolutely no performance hit whatsoever so if you did enjoy this video please do like and subscribe it really does help out the channel uh, and also hit the notification bell so you don't miss any one of my future uploads but thank you all very much for watching and i shall see you in the next one